what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? 50 Cent was recently on Lil Wayne's Young Money radio show, and they covered a variety of topics, including Rick Ross, Meek Mill, and Nicki Minaj. At some point, the conversation found its way to dating, and 50 Cent went on a rant talking about how he dates exotic women and black women don't like that. His words, they get mad. They get angry. You see a lot of sisters, they go, you F with this kind of girl and that kind of girl. That shit is exotic. That shit look a lot different than the shit you see in the neighborhood all of the time. That shit look like it came off a boat. It feels like something you can't just get. In some kind of ways, it's interesting, but they get angry. How did you end up with this motherfucker? Lil Wayne, he is getting off. He going crazy, just laughing like it's the funniest thing in the world. He co-signed, saying that, yeah, they get really angry. 50 continued. It always makes me defensive. Look at this angry black mother effer. Get the F out of here. He mimics punching and then goes on to say, you trying to F up the whole vibe. Let me say something before you tender nuts start to chime in. Yes, there are some black women that do it too. Yes, there are those black women out there who will disparage a black man every chance she get in favor of putting others up. Gotcha. But we ain't talking about black women. We talking about black men's attitudes toward black women. That's what we're talking about right now. And I will say this, from my observance over the years, it seems that the darker the black man is, the more of an inferiority complex he has, the more of a superiority complex he has. Superiority over the black woman, inferiority under the white woman or any other kind of woman. This is what I've seen. This is what I've noticed. So, what trips me out is this, fam. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We are literally fighting for our survival as a group of people. Black bodies are littering the streets all over America. Black people are being hung. And this the shit these niggas want to talk about? This the shit that you want to be part of the discussion? Come on, man. Come on. Just when it seems like we might be able to unite a little bit and make some change. This is what this is what we're doing. Some of the most influential dudes that we have in our culture is disparaging our better half, our other half, our women, a whole half of what we can, come on, man. What are the mothers and daughters of dudes who think like this? Thinking, what do they think of their sons and fathers, how does it make them feel? How does it make the little girls feel as someone who is the daughter of a person who hates what they look like? How does it make the mothers feel who brought them into the world knowing that they despise them? See, because you can't claim to not like black women, hate black women, and love your mama if she black, or love your daughter if she black. That's a contradiction. And let's address this exotic shit. 
anybody originating from or with the characteristics of a foreign country or region can be exotic. Anything originating from or with the characteristics of a foreign region or country can be exotic. A damn plant, an animal, a rock, a roach can be exotic. And also, people that live abroad, to them, every damn black person in America is exotic. So what the fuck is y'all talking about? You know, you might be able to give some dudes a pass if they're teenagers, because a lot of these dudes are just unlearned. And some of them, it doesn't matter how much money they have. It doesn't matter how much they, how well they travel. It doesn't matter about the access, none of that. Some dudes never grow up. Wayne, 37, 50, 45. So you got two dudes who are well past the age of bumping their heads and knowing right from wrong should be having much more mature conversations than that. Okay, everybody like joke from time to time, have fun, but you don't joke at the expense of your women. You don't put the women down. You don't put your women down so that you can have a good time, crack some jokes, he he ha ha. There is no other group of men on this planet, especially that has the platforms that they have that would do some shit like that. I haven't seen any, not one. And in, in, this, in this, this group that we're in, it's a bunch of them motherfuckers. It's a whole bunch of them. And what they don't understand is that all they're doing is making it harder for the black women that they say they love. The black women that do it, all they're doing is making it harder for the black man, men that they say they love. Whether it's their daddy, their brother, their son, or whatever. I don't get it, man. But you know what? I ain't got to get it. I don't even want to get it. All you dudes out there that's got a problem with black women, carry on. More for me. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?